Hey, it's Paul here. So it's almost the end of 2019 and um, it's been a great year for uh, me personally and my website. But for a lot of people, things haven't quite worked out the way they wanted. I know a lot of people set goals because I help a lot of people on my website and get a lot of emails and other messages and um, people didn't achieve what they wanted to. So there's a few reasons for that, uh, which is why I wanted to make this video and um, hopefully it helps you and will um, motivate you to achieve your goals in 2020. So why all your goals uh, for 2019 failed? More importantly, what to change in 2020. So without further ado, if you've never heard of me, I've written several IT books and have a few websites. I used to work for Cisco TAC been teaching online and in classrooms since 2002 and I've written quite a few books as I said. Now I started out knowing nothing about IT and about goals so um, you know you can do it too is my message. A few websites I run, uh, howtonetwork.com, 101labs.net is purely hands-on IT training and in60days.com is for the CCNA. So um, if uh, you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and also smack the bell so you get notifications. YouTube will tell you when my next video is out. They're nearly all motivational and uh, some IT career stuff. So let's review what a goal is. I know it may sound obvious, but a lot of people don't know. It could be any objective you set uh, for yourself and push yourself to achieve. So it could be something small, for example, get up 30 minutes earlier every day. Uh, maybe do some exercise or do some reading or it can be a very large goal such as a large weight loss goal and um, emigrating something like that so there's a lot of mistakes people make because we're not actually taught how to set and achieve goals nobody teaches in school or in life the first a problem with goals is people don't set specific ones if you don't set a specific goal it's actually impossible to measure it so get fit isn't a specific goal because you, you've got no way of knowing when you've actually achieved it so you don't feel any sort of success. Get certified also doesn't mean anything. Get certified in what and when. Make more money is another good one. So uh, not being specific with your goals. Uh, number two, uh, didn't set a date. If there's no date then it's not a goal. It doesn't qualify. So. Uh, you need to set a date to achieve it, something in your uh, calendar. Goal mistake number three, you must attach an emotion. This is the fuel that will help you achieve your goal. I've tried to set goals for personally in the past and I just, um, it was a real struggle um, for certain IT exams. And after a while I realised that um, I didn't feel very positive about uh, achieving it. I couldn't look forward to it because it wasn't um, something I was really um, invested in. So you have to have fuel. So for me, it's uh, having time at home. So my goal has to give me uh, time at home, a uh, good standard of living, uh, so I can um, you know spend time with my family. We can do fun stuff. So yours might be different depending on your circumstances. Mistake number four. Uh, didn't write a plan of action. You must have a plan, even if it's a, a fairly simple goal or an, e an easy certification. You can write it out on a sheet of paper. I tend to use um, I tend to use uh, online uh, spreadsheets. This is how I launched my CCNA in 60 Days uh, website. I um, actually wrote a plan for myself and then I shared it with others. Every day you can see you've got um, a, a lesson or more, more than one lesson. You've got hands-on labs and then I put in review days. So this is how I build up my knowledge um, for any IT exam or any other exam I'm taking. I've jumped to number six for, <laughs> for some reason. Sorry about that. It's early in the morning for me. Didn't align with your values. So this is a big one. What's, what are your values and what's important to you? Uh, helping other people, uh, financial freedom, having more free time. So if you've got a job or if you're achieve, trying to achieve something that's going to take you away from your family and swallow up all of your time, for example, working in a um, oil rig, doing IT or in a coal mine, then um, 
you probably won't achieve it because it doesn't align with your values. And making a difference to others, also getting recognition from peers. When I worked at Cisco TAC, if you passed um, a hard exam, you got rec recognition from your bosses and all of your work colleagues, and it was really good. So think about what's important to you and what you want to achieve. And it may be that being um, a programmer, for example, isn't something that really aligns with your values, but being a security expert does. Next mistake, too big and too soon. So all almost all goals are achievable, even, for example, on the right here, climbing Everest, as long as you're in good health. However, you um, this goal would take, off the top of my head, around three years training to achieve. You'd have to obviously get fit, learn about your mountaineering, and then start conquering some smaller uh, mountains until you can finally um, achieve the big one. So, um, you know, don't bite off things that are too big. There's lots of easy IT certifications. For example, the Microsoft MTA operating system and server that you can do with just a few hours study. So something like CCIE in 12 months is going to be impossible for most people, unless you're a genius. All right, so I'm sure you've heard this before. Um, it's because it works, but I've added a, f a couple of bits to it. So this is what um, you should be doing for your 2020 goals. Have something specific. So a certain weight, a certain bank balance, even being debt free, um, you can measure that. Uh, buying your first house, I'll put here passing Cisco CCNA because that's my um, most popular certificate course. Uh, measurable, you can obviously measure it because you pass the exam, you get a pass sheet and then through the post you would get a certificate. Is it achievable? Well, every year tens of thousands of people pass it, um, regular people, so yes it's achievable. Is it realist realistic? If you set a goal for around 60 days, um, then yes, it's definitely realistic. Time scale, well, you obviously set in your calendar. You can use my coaching program or just break it down, find the syllabus and work out your own, um, your own goals. Excuse me while I cough. Uh, next is, um, and now I've added this, ethical. So this goes in with your values that I mentioned earlier. I wanted to be debt free, for example. Um, this is what I did for my Cisco CCNA. It got me a big pay rise. I was able to pay off uh, money I owed, and I just had that peace of mind that I could pay off all my debts. The other thing is the action plan. Write it out. So um, put your big goal and break it down into smaller chunks. Put in revision days, review days. What are you going to study? Is it a lab? Is it theory? Is it a video, a book? Uh, a cram guide, write it all out and you can obviously adjust it. Every Sunday I check my goals and milestones and uh, make adjustments. All right, so this is from my uh, quick plug. This is from my 60 day uh, exam coaching program. So there's 10 days of goals. That's how important goals are. I've set 10, <laughs> 10 different days worth of uh, coaching on it. And then on day 11, it's a memory mastery mini course, programming your memory. The next few days are defeating procrastination. These are all mini courses. Motivation, NLP is a um, mind programming course. Mind mapping, how to actually mind map and uh, write out things so you remember them. Uh, day 24 is my goal setting guide, my personal one. Speed reading. Uh, common denominator of success story so far. There's there's a bunch of stuff here. There's actually 60 days and I can't fit them all in. There's not enough room. And then going to the last uh, 10 days here, I've had to skip a few. I've got the summaries of the best motivational success strategy goal uh, books I've ever read. And I've done a summary of the best points. So I've saved you about a year's worth of reading in those um, books. And they've um, definitely changed my life. So uh, as well as that, there's a, about 30 IT certification courses, more coming out next year. You can have a look for yourself on howtonetwork.com. Uh, the coaching course is worth around $2,000 um, just if you did the coaching for exams and um, success. But um, on the next page is a $1 trial and then it's $20 a month. So if you use the uh, special access URL here, howtonetwork.com forward slash YouTube, you get access to all my coaching, certification, um, training, exams, live Cisco racks, 
a whole bunch of stuff so have a look for yourself but please use that special url i'll put it in the description as well um really i just wanted to do wish you all the best for uh, 2020 there's loads of exciting things you could be doing but now is the time to start planning make your uh, strategy uh, in writing use the smart and then the additional um, three bits that i mentioned there and um, drop a comment so um, all the best and uh, have a great new year